Welcome to Small Talk Daily for Monday, October 12th, 2009. This morning we're going to take a brief overview of the browser, and to get started, let's see how you browse a specific class. You can browse the whole system, you can browse an individual class, or you can look for references to a specific class or namespace. Let's start with class. Let's go here and type in, you notice that this supports type ahead, so I'll start typing timer and you'll see that it's going to highlight time because that's the biggest match or I can go down here and say what I really wanted is timer and just hit OK. And now it'll take me to class timer in the system. If I wanted hierarchy I could go here. So this shows you the class and the methods. Let's take a look at what this all lays out as. This is the package bundle structure and bundles and packages can be organized in kind of a tree-like structure. A bundle is just an arbitrary collection of packages and or other bundles a package is an arbitrary collection of classes or class extensions and overrides and namespaces and so on. So that's the list of classes, namespaces, and extensions over here. In this area here, once I've selected a class, you'll see a set of protocol categories. This is the set of categories for methods. And you notice that it tells you how many are in each one. So I know there are three API methods. Now there's two ways of going over to the methods. I can just start arbitrarily picking them here or if I want to limit them to the ones in this category I can select that over here and just see these. Now you notice that the way you move around, once you want to deselect things, things are a little different than they used to be in older versions of VisualWorks. If I'm on a Mac like I am here I hit command and select unselect. If I were on Windows it would be control and unselect and I believe it's the same thing under X11. So select and deselect you have to hold down either the command or control key depending on the platform you're on. Now, a couple other things to keep in mind. Once I've selected a package, let's go out to the top, let's deselect everything, and let's create a new package just for Jollies here. So we'll call this My Package. And you can come down here and see a bunch of different things in here. Comment, the comment. Properties, this is the properties for your package. You have a summary, you have the warning suppression, prerequisite version, selection, pre-read, pre-load, post-load. These are all things that happen either before your package is read and loaded, just before it's loaded, after it's loaded, before it's unloaded, and just after it's unloaded, pre-save. Prerequisites is different than it used to be. You notice here this is kind of a graphical view. Now you're not seeing anything for this new package, but let's go ahead and look at one that's in the system. You notice that it's got these listed here, and it's noticed down here under missing, it says, well, you're really dependent on this, but you don't have it in your current list of prereqs. Now you don't need to worry about base visual works. It'll always be loaded. But if you have something in this list, to move it up, all you do is drag and drop it. See, I'm not going to actually change it. I'm going to leave it down here, but that's all you do is drag and drop it. You can add new things here by just hitting the plus sign and picking from the list of available packages and bundles in your image. And you can, of course, remove things by clicking the X button right here. You can also move prerequisites down to disregard, which is dangerous, but you might want to say, well, I know I always have package foobar loaded. I don't need to have it in prereqs. Probably a bad thing to do but you can go ahead and do it. So that's how prerequisites are set up here. And that's pretty much all I really wanted to cover today is to go through some of the basic things here in the list. Just to go for completion, let's go to copyright. This will show where you can put copyright. Notice how it's a specific tab now, so if you want to make sure you list that, you can list it. Rewrite is for rewrite rules. I've done separate screencasts on this and the code critic. This is also covered in a separate screencast. Some new tabs may come in here depending on what packages you load. You can look for additional things and features and functionality when you do that. In general though, packages and bundles over here. Classes which are part of that package or bundle, including class extensions, meaning extra loose methods. Protocol categories with a count of the numbers of them here in that particular category. And finally over here, methods. One other thing, change from the previous release that I've mentioned a few moments ago. To deselect, you now have to hit Command click on the Mac or on other platforms, Control click. And that works more like list boxes work on every other platform, and that's how VisualWorks works now, and for that matter, Object Studio in the common set of tools like the browser. So, it's better for today. Until next time, have fun with Smalltalk.